All right, what you see here is a Hampton Bay Littleton ceiling fan. It's a 42 inch hobby ceiling fan at Home Depot. Sold back then. Well, actually, no, they still sell them today. But they're definitely not the same quality as this one. It's basically an economical fan that was sold under the Hampton Bay logo. Well, nowadays they're not even sold under the Hampton Bay name and such. But to me, they're still the same thing. This one, as you can see, does not have the white kit on it because I am showing it without the white. Yes, back then, Little Tins did have the option of being sold without a white kit. Same for the majority of the Hampton Bay fans about back in the day. It wasn't until around 2008 ish or so that most of the models they started selling, or that they were selling, they stopped offering them with a switch cap. Which. I honestly think they sh even to this day they should still have that option because there's some fans that I know a lot of people would buy if it didn't have a like to it. Especially the little tins would definitely be a good fan for certain areas if they didn't need a like for it. If they seen something cheap nowadays, but this one's not a cheap one. I mean it's a cheaper fan definitely because it's made by Hampton Bay, but oh it's made for Hampton Bay. But this thing is actually a pretty good performer. It definitely I can say this without an issue. It definitely is like on par with a 42 inch Hunter Low profile, if not more. But that is, doesn't include the um, 80s version of the 180 with those larger motors. Definitely is on moves more in the course of beats without a question. And this one I got new in the box off of eBay. It's one of my favorite fans that I've found. It's one I've been wanting to get for a long time. I already have a little tin that has this type of um, switch housing to it. It's an SMC made version though. It has bad bearings to it. So this is definitely my favorite version of the little tin without a question. <clears throat> Ones that have the detached, the non, the deep, the yeah, non integrated white kit. And that's the type that's not the Home Depot display, the one closest to me. Still there to this day. But um, yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and start the fan off on the low speed. It's definitely a fan I would have considered having down here if this was a used one and not a new and box one. Or even in the other basement with the Minka Air Mesa. The SMC one I, I was actually thinking about using, it's just I need to find the other blade arm for it. One thing is that one actually has noisy bearings to it, so it probably wouldn't be the best um, choice. And um, the time I'm filming this video of it without the white kit, it's actually at least a good five to six months after I filmed it with the white kit. I filmed that back in the summer of 2020, around August. So I'm testing it now. I figured I'd wait until it gets cooler out just to see a contrast of how much air I feel from it when it's warmer out and when it's cool. Sends off the basement of the wooden board on the side now. Um, isn't as secure as it used to be. It was more cool air in here. And I'm actually keeping it like that just on purpose, just so I can have some breathing air down here and such. And so it would always get really hot down here around this time of the year with the um, heater and such. With the um, furnace over in that corner. Plus, it's not like I'm storing the fans down here anymore like I used to, so. If anything's gonna rust this small, so it's gonna be like the whatever stuff's down here. If I leave it down here for a long period of time. It has a good low speed to it. It's definitely if I can see in like a laundry mat or a laundry room in a house. Um, many different types of stores. And that place that has the um those two five weighted fans that look similar to this. Um, I can see these there. You can see this like in an office. It's, it's 
a lot of various ways I can see these. But yeah, a lot of people say that the oldest version with the that's made by SMC is the better one. It's actually this one. And there's a lot of yeah, cool fans that were made for Hampton Bay were actually a lot more superior. <coughs> And it's actually dead silent. What I'm going to do at some point is probably um, touch up the other one that I have, the SMC made one. And um, put that in the other basement in some spot. I forget how, which, when that one was made, but um, I know like in the late 90s, they kind of jumped back and forth between Aircool and SMC. Um, the SMC one with the black one is what came out before these. Now, I'm not sure if they had it like this with the Aircool version, with the white motor and the detachable, and the non-integrated white kit, and then um, the SMC version. They probably did it in between. I'm not too sure. It was kind of a weird period for the Whittleton's then. Same thing going into the 2000s, like, well, in the year 2000, they were made by Air Cool. And then it looks like they were made by SMC again, so. I'll see Air Cool back then. It's definitely a lot better than the Air Cool ones nowadays. Back then, they were actually very, very well made performers and such. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move it up to medium. Does have a little bit of a wobble to it. Um, on the blades, uh, tiny. I started to warp a tiny bit just because I didn't deassemble them. And plus, they were sitting in my, the um, dining room for a bit, and we had a window open a bit in the summer, so that caused a few of my the ceiling fan blades I had there when I was in the process of moving stuff over there um, to get a bit warped. I do wish that the um, current little tin was had this option of having it just with the switch cap. So a lot of places that I feel could benefit with it just having a switch cap if they didn't need it for the light. In terms of like put people who places like store wise that um, just need something cheap that will do the that will move some air. A lot of four or five weighted huggers that look just like this that I saw as a kid. So the, this look right here is pretty childhood for me. I mean, the Wilsons in general are pretty, are like the biggest, one of the biggest childhood fans for me in general. Which is the reason why I actually like them. And actually, weird or not, I actually am kind of happy to still sell them. Because it's actually one of the few fans that's been around since I was a kid that's still being sold to this day. Though it's not the exact same type, it's still around at least. Same thing with like the um, Hunter Original or the Ant Bay Industrial or um, a few other fans and such. Or the, like the Casablanca Stealth, even though it's a bit different than how it was back then. I like the Mickey Air Mesa, that, that's actually been around for a while too. Just I only found out a bit more recently. In fact, that actually came in a brass finish too from what I saw in old catalogs. Yeah, it's definitely moving a good breeze on medium. Definitely could cool down a small room without a question possible. Definitely could move some good amount of air in a large room as well. Heck, this fan would definitely even be more than enough for the um, storage unit around this time of the year. Because we're being a bit cooler over there now. Uh, but I haven't really been running off all four Mega Air mesas and that stor fan storage on the high speed. I've been running them on low speed. If I use all four of them, and if anything, sometimes I just use one or two of them.
Hey, I gotta say, if you can find one of these air cool versions of the Whittleton, and it's not, it's, it's pretty cheap, get it. Just to see what it's like. That's a lot of people, honestly, are, will be surprised to be see how good of a performer it is. I know, um, Cleveland fan collector, better known on YouTube as Brian Peterson, he did a video of a Hampton Bay rock port that was made by Air Cool. Um, those are literally the same thing as this, in all honesty, and even he was very impressed with the air movement on it. But yeah, these were like maybe $15 back then. I'm not 100% sure, either $15 to $20. To get something like this back then at that t price, though, so back then that's probably like, obviously, it's not the same value of fifteen dollars nowadays. But um for it to be like a thirty ish dollar fan and such, it's definitely a lot higher quality fan for price point. I like it definitely outperforms numerous sixty dollar to eighty dollar fans I've seen nowadays. Like the forty two inch landmarks was outperforms that without a question. Same thing with the coastal breezes and such, um it's not outperformed the forty four inch Stratford's just definitely doesn't outperform that but it definitely does outperform quite a bit of 42 inch hundred fans that I've tested and if anything it's either on, like around that area it's like on par with some of them and it su surpasses quite a few of them as well it's a fan that's good enough that I actually install somewhere it's, if anything it's probably in a laundry room say it's definitely about the same amount of air mover from the Mika Air Mesa. And I only say that because I just had the uh, one in the other side of the basement running on high speed just the other day. So it definitely moves about the same amount of air as like a showroom hugger ceiling fan. And I am not over exaggerating on it. It actually does push a decent, a decent breeze to it. I really can tell, like just by looking at the motor, if it's an air cool one, if it has a vents like that on the bottom. If it doesn't have vents on the bottom, then it's SMC made. Spin down shouldn't be too long. I don't remember how long it was last time, but since the fan is brand new in the box, I've only ran it just to test it. I really don't see it being that long of a spin down. But yeah, even the build to the fan itself, not just the performance, is actually a lot more solid than the newer ones. Not the highest quality fan, but it's definitely nothing like today's version. Alright. Now here's row on reverse. It just goes to show you that even um, cheaper quality stuff made back then is far superior than than cheaper or than even some higher end stuff nowadays. And I'm not saying all higher end stuff because there's definitely a lot of higher end stuff that is still very good. But there's some stuff that's considered higher end that even more cheaper models like these from back then outperform. I did some 5200 Hunter fans that I don't even feel this much air moving from even from this little 42 inch fan. Like the Oakers, this thing definitely outperforms the, the Hunter Oakers that I gave to my aunt. 
I found a question. <clears throat> And I'm not saying that just from the debris underneath. I'm saying that more so from the amount of air I'm feeling from the ground and and how cool it makes the room feel. Alright, and that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.